Beethoven Tempest Third Movement. Time's up. Chopin Ballard Number no. One. Time's up. Tips and tricks for time blocking today. Struggling. Being busy makes you struggle with piano practice sometimes. Have you ever experienced of being like that? Job, housework, parenting, tiredness, and busyness. A ton of bad factors affect your piano practice. Then how can we manage our time? I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks that I've been trying to do usually. Time blocking. Rule number one is set your alarm. Once we found a section we can't play well, we tend to practice over and over and again and lose track of time, yeah? And most of the time, that practice can be just a waste of time, you know? So to avoid it, set your alarm. A piece of advice, bar around 43. Many of my students say this figure of their left hand makes their finger hurt. All the pain and tiredness is relating to high finger method. So I recommend them to play this figure with gravity method or Russia method. Not only being able to avoid pain, but also play much faster with this method. Time's up! Time blocking. Rule number two is write down your to do list the previous day. I guess many of you start your day with writing down to the list in morning, but I personally believe those people already fall behind the others. Write your schedule the previous day so that you will be able to start your day earlier than others. Anyone who wants to learn Chopin's Ballard number no. one with me today? Next piece is this one. But let me go get some water before Ballard. Currently, I get this water bottle which can clearly see water level and time markers. Need to be hydrated because it's summer. Chopin Ballard number no. one. Currently, one of my new students coming from Southeast Asia is preparing for exam, so I revisited this piece for the first time in a few years. today is next next page many of my students say this section can't play faster enough so let's find the reason why you guys can't play faster One of the conceivable reasons why you can't play faster is because these two fingers. You need to open widely between 2 and 5. If you had a small hand, it makes you more difficult to use fingers between them. But no problem. If you played with Russian method, all the problems can be fixed. Even people who have small hands can play much faster and easier. Alright then, let's get go back on the track. Now I fixed a few things based on Russian method, so let me play one more time. Mm, getting better. Alright then, time blocking rule number three is each session shouldn't be longer. If you practice longer, like two or three hours, you would lose your concentration. So I basically practice one piece for an hour. Do something different, go back to practice for next new piece. So today, start with Tempest one hour, read a book for an hour, back to piano ballad one hour, something like that. How to practice for fast playing. 
If you grabbed those three notes without any wrong keys, it would be smoother. So practicing like this helps you to catch correct notes. Already one more. Time flies so quickly. Alright then, let's have lunch. 12 o'clock, lunch time. And after lunch, I have one online lesson, so you guys can learn more techniques with me. 1 p.m. online lesson, Chopin Etude. So, speaking of Chopin's Etude, most of them are composed for right-hand training. Like, um... First hand one, right hand right, okay. and next chromatic etude is also like right hand, and then three is also the same. Yeah, so most of them for right hand training, but this is obviously composed for left hand. So, um, tips and a trick of this piece is this like broken chord, which is over octave. Your finger two, three, four can be your shaft for lateral movement. So, and it needs a flexibility of your wrist and elbow. All right. So in our previous lesson, we learned about correct position for each fingers. You remember about that? Yeah. 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 So today I'm gonna teach you how to use wrist and elbow. Okay. Okay. Alright, then, so, each position we did last time, so, I want you to keep on doing it. 2 p.m. hang out with my friend from Texas. He said that uh, it's illegal to trap animals. I'd have to assume they're happy around feeding time. <laughs> feeding time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but this, this is very safe place for them, right? That's a, yeah, that's a good point. I have to be chased by seals. But very small, so I'm so sorry for them. <laughs> <laughs> His hands are writing. <laughs> Do you like animals? Do I like animals? Mm. Um, as long as they're not trying to attack me. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. <laughs> what is he doing? Ichi? I think so. Oh. I don't know how snow would be a very good back scratcher, but. Yeah. <laughs> Weird. I can smell it from here. <laughs> Today's time blocking 9 a.m. Tempest, 10 a.m. Book Time, 11 a.m. Ballard, 12 a.m. Lunch, 1 p.m. Lesson, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Zoo. 7 p.m. self practice. Set my alarm for each slot so I didn't run over on time. Hope you guys can manage your time well through this video. Have a good practice day. Bye.